Good morning and welcome to VSU Cleveland High School as we get ready for the opening round of the 2023 New Cinda Credit Union NMAA State Softball Championships. It's the number six Eunice Lady Cardinals taking on the number 11 Dora Lady Coyotes. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Redbird Gas Company, Parker Energy, Eunice Pump and Supply, the Eunice Schools, the City of Eunice, the Eunice Health Clinic, Lasco Construction, IPS Incorporated, XL Energy, NMR Pipeline, and the Outlaw Grill. I'm TJ Miracle. Great to have you with us from Field 3 here at Cleveland High School as the win or go home game the first round today of these softball championships. The winner of this game will move on to play number three Estancia this afternoon. Eunice under Coach Kempel is 12 and 11 on the season. Of course playing a familiar foe with Dora as yeah, we're in the same district. We come all the way to Rio Rancho to play a district game. I love it. That's well, just the way it works sometimes. Let's go ahead and give you the starting lineups for this one. We will start with the number 11 Dora Lady Coyotes under Coach Jasso. Leading off and playing in left field will be Kaysen Inge. Batting second is their catcher, Jenna Ramirez. Batting third and pitching, Faith Jasso. Hitting in the cleanup spot is the first baseman, Justice Deason. Batting fifth and playing shortstop, Breanne Rodriguez. Batting sixth is the center fielder, Kinsley Inge. Batting seventh, playing third, Miranda Gomez. Batting eighth, Playing right will be Riley Croft, and batting at ninth is the second baseman, Caitlin Seafort. Morgan and Garcia are on the bench for Dora, so only bringing 11 girls with them for this game today. For your Eunice Lady Cardinals leading off and playing center, it'll be Michaela Pierce. She'll be followed by the second baseman, Haley Jones, batting third and pitching here in this do-or-die game. It'll be Kelly Stinson batting in the cleanup spot and catching will be Melanie Nieto. Batting fifth is the first baseman, Siandra Rodriguez. Batting sixth, playing in left field, Alea Garcia. Batting seventh, playing third, will be Lisbeth Gaetan batting eighth, playing right field Carla Ornelas, and hitting in the nine spot and playing shortstop Leilene Zamora. For Coach Kempel, his bench is Andrea Ornelas, Jaylee Parker, Lorelai Key, and Emma Garrett. So the coaches have met with the umpires at home plate, and they are heading into the dugout. Final instructions. Of course, I would imagine we will have the national anthem from field one so four of our lee county teams making it up here to albuquerque in the albuquerque metro today of course the Eunice lady cardinals the jow lady panthers also with us they're getting ready to start on the game on the field immediately behind ours and so best of luck to the lady panthers now there is a chance that the uh, jow and Eunice could actually meet later today yeah, we, we hope that both teams win out and that does not become a scenario. But as I mentioned, for the Junis Lady Cardinals, number six on the season. And if they win this one, they will take on the Estancia Lady Bears coming up at 1 o'clock this afternoon. That game will be available here on Hobbs America and on the Unis Sports YouTube channel. Of course, due to NMAA media rights grants, there are uh, no pictures allowed from this, but we do have the audio and we appreciate you being with us wherever you happen to be today. And of course, a big thanks to Outlaw Grill, NMR Pipeline, Excel Energy, IPS Incorporated, Lasco Construction, Eunice Clinic, City of Eunice, the Eunice Schools, Eunice Pump and Supply, Parker Energy, and Redbird Gas Company. So I mentioned Eunice and JAL softball today from here in Rio Rancho. Tomorrow, the 4A softball tournament will get underway with the Lovington Lady Cats. They'll be here and in action. Don Morgan will have that game for you tomorrow. And then the Eunice Boys baseball will start tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock from the new complex that they have just built here uh, out on the far west side of Albuquerque. So we will have all of the games from the state tournament for you in audio form for you here today. So it looks like Dora won the toss and will be considered the home team for this one. Both teams were in the red unis. Dora in the red tops, gray pants, white letters and numbers. Eunice in their red tops with the black letters and numbers, the black pants. As we get ready to start this one, I guess maybe we are not going to have a national anthem. So we'll take a quick timeout, come back with the first pitch. This is Lady Cardinal Softball from the state tournament from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. 
Bart Parker, owner of Redbird LP Gas Company and his employees, are proud of their Eunice Cardinals. Bart, class of 1971, state champions of both basketball and baseball, support the kids with their academics and athletics. They realize that balancing both is challenging and appreciate their determination. Redbird knows the Eunice Cardinals have worked really hard to get where they're at, and they are cheering them on all the way. Bart and his crew say, Go Eunice Cardinals! Parker Energy, family owned and operated since 2006. Their team is known for their hard work and dedication, big enough to meet your needs for transport, pump trucks, vacuum trucks, and disposal services. Parker Energy and their staff are huge supporters of all Lee County sports and academics. They encourage their young adults to go the extra mile, whether it's sports, grades, or just being a better you. Parker Energy Support Services, 2350 Avenue O, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. Eunice Public Schools is proud of their Eunice Cardinals, the Eunice community, and the staff of Eunice Schools. Eunice Public Schools has anchored itself as an integral part of the Eunice community and takes school safety very seriously. Eunice Schools have continually provided a quality education for the students of Eunice through good times and bad. The Eunice School District appreciates the Eunice community, and they're proud of their Eunice Cardinals. Eunice is on the move. Are you ready? Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue O in Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. Eunice has a friendly small town atmosphere, great schools and churches, and a low cost of living. The entire community is very involved with all levels of sports and academics. The Eunice Department of Motor Vehicles new office hours are Monday through Thursday, 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. No testing on Friday. Eunice, a friendly small town with a wonderful community and amenities. The Eunice Clinic is proud to support the Eunice Cardinals. Go Cardinals! You're the pride of Eunice. The Eunice Health Clinic offers many of the same basic services that many local physicians provide. They specialize in well sick care for all ages, well women's exams, physicals, health education, lab tests, and diagnostic studies. They're proud supporters of athletic and academic events. The Eunice Health Clinic is proud to back the Cardinals. Go Cards! Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. IP and welcome back to Eunice Lady Cardinal Softball here on the Eunice Sports YouTube channel and on HobbsAmerica.com. I'm TJ Miracle as we await the official scorekeeper in this one. Yeah, girls are out there ready to go. Everybody's warmed up and ready, but we don't have a we don't have a bookkeeper, don't have a scorekeeper, and I am not official enough. So, all right, so Eunice lost the toss, and it will be Dora as the home team in this one. So let's go ahead and set the Lady Coyotes for you. Defensively, you've got Jasso in the ring. Ramirez is her battery mate. Deason, Seifert, Rodriguez, and Gomez around the infield. First to third, Inge, Inge, and Crop in the outfield. Leading off for the Lady Cardinals, it'll be Michaela Pierce, the center fielder for the Lady Cards. She'll be followed by Haley Jones and then Kelly Stinson. That is one, two, three, due up for the Lady Cards. So Eunice getting the number six seed at 12 and 11 on the season, five and seven overall in district. I believe they did take three of four from this Dora team in that district race. So for Dora, or let's go ahead and set Eunice for you when they're out there defensively. You'll have Stinson and Nieto in the ring and behind the plate respectively, Rodriguez, Jones, Zamora, Gaetan around the infield first to third, Garcia, Pierce, and Ornelas from left to right. 
So now the officials are going to call the coaches back over with the long delay while we await an official scorekeeper, and there there has been. We've the fields here at Rio Rancho Cleveland High School. Uh, there's one, two fields with scoreboards. So two fields with scoreboards, and uh, then the other, and then of course the other fields, uh, you know, for tournament in a clover leaf situation. So the scoreboard operator is here for the manual scoreboard, but uh, no, no official book. So all right, uh, they've. Uh, They've determined that uh, they can play on and they will use the home team's book as the book until an official scorekeeper can arrive. So, all right, here we go as we get ready to start this one. Now then, after the slight delay, two minutes after 9 o'clock and stepping in, it'll be Michaela Pearson. We are underway from the state softball tournament. The line in the first pitch and Pierce takes a hack and a pretty good fastball and will come up empty and that'll be strike number one. Jasso on the hill in the ring, sends the second one in. That one is shot out to deep center field. It's coming over and jumping up and making a grab is Inge, and so it'll be a long fly out to center, and there is one down for the Lady Cards. So that'll bring Haley Jones to the plate. Jones, the second baseman. I got to see this Dora team against Jal earlier in the season. They are a little bit error prone, so watch out for that as... Jones will take the first pitch. That one is going to be down the right field line, and that one will get over the head of Croft and go all the way to the wall. Jones rounds first. She is heading to second. She's not slowing down. She's on the horse. She is going to third, and she is going to be held up over at third, and so a misplay by Croft out in deep right field will result in a triple to right for Jones, and the Eunice Lady Cardinals are in business here in this top of the first inning. Of course, the winner will move on to play Estancia this afternoon at 1.00. The loser will have their season come to an end. So now it'll be Kelly Stinson trying to help her own cause out. Pitcher on pitcher duel. She shows Bunt, lays it down, but it'll go foul down the third baseline. So playing a little small ball today for Coach Kimple, at least right here. He went with the big the big bats with Pearson Jones. Now he's got Stinson, his number three hitter, trying to lay down a bunt. So it'll be a no ball, one strike count. As Stinson will step back in, trying to help her own cause. Runner at third is Jones. And a timeout asked for as Jasso was ready to deal. Jasso, a pretty good fastball. Pretty good changeup, a little riser, a little curveball. So has the arsenal and the 0-1 pitch, and that one going to rise and go all the way to the screening, but it'll bounce all the way back and right into the hands of Ramirez, which will keep Jones stapled over at third. And the count evens up at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count. Jones with the triple. Stands over at third as Jasso deals. Swung on and missed. Got her to chase the riser. It's Stinson down one ball and two strikes. So the runner at third, do or die game for both of these squads. Top four seeds got buys into the next round. The other eight have to play through, and that one is going to be hit to deep left center, right center, pardon me, and that one is going to go all the way to the wall. That'll cash in one as Stinson rounds second. She is heading to third, and she is going to come on home. Nope, they're going to go ahead and pull her back as getting to it is Seifert and making a pretty strong throw in. It took them a while to get to that, and it'll be an RBI triple to right for Stinson, and the Lady Cards take the early one to nothing lead. Oh, a one nothing lead, still a runner at third. One out, and Melanie Nieto, the catcher to the plate for Eunice. So Eunice looking to jump out early, and they have. They have taken the one to nothing lead, and I think I have things backwards on the scoreboard. I have Eunice as the home team. And the wind and the pitch swung on, and that one is heading into the netting over our heads. And it'll be strike one to Nieto. Sandra Rodriguez waits on deck. Beautiful morning for softball here in the Albuquerque Metro. As Jasso looks in, gets her side from Ramirez, kicks and fires, and getting a piece of that one, fouling it off. Nieto is looking to pull the trigger, but now she's got to go into plate protection mode, down no balls and two strikes. So the no ball, two strike count. And the pitch swung on, and that'll be a hard shot on the ground. Gets past a diving Seifert between the bag at second in the hole, and it'll go out into center field, and it'll be an RBI single to center for Melanie Nieto. So cash another one in for the Lady Cards as they take the 2 to nothing lead here early. So now Sandra Rodriguez to the plate. 
as Deandra will settle into the right side box. And the pitch swung on, and that'll be a jam shot on the ground, and that'll find its way through between first and second. Coming up with it quickly is Croft, and she'll toss it in, get it to Rodriguez, who throws it over to third, but not in time to get an aggressively running Nieto. So Nieto winds up at third, and Rodriguez has a single to right herself as the line keeps moving for the Lady Cardinals. So that'll bring up Alea Garcia to the plate. So Garcia, Gaetano late on deck. Cardinals at the corners. Eunice leading two to nothing and looking to add to it. As Jasso will deal, and that one will be up and away for ball number one. So a one ball, no strike count. Dora in a bit of a jam here in the first. Jasso will deal the fastball inside, and that'll be ball number two. So a two ball, no strike count. Garcia steps out, now she... Steps back in, is ready to go as Jasso with the windmill wind and will pitch. Takes something off of that one. Gets Garcia out in front of it. Swing and a miss, and that is strike one. So with two ball, one strike count. Moving down to second on the pitch was Rodriguez, and that pitch will be on the outside corner. And the count evens up at two balls and two strikes. So now runners at second and third. Rodriguez at second, Nieto at third. And the pitch, that one going to roll on in to Garcia. And we'll make it a three ball, two strike count. So it'll run the count full to the number five, number six hitter, Leia Garcia. Jasso ready to work and the pitch swung on and that one will be popped out of play. And over towards field four. So the count will remain full at three balls and two strikes. So resetting now at three and two. Jasso a quick worker. Will deal the payoff pitch and fighting that one off the hands and that one heads over behind the jowl dugout on field four behind us. So Garcia fighting off a pretty couple of pretty good pitches now from Jasso to stay alive. Umpire gets the, the ball back in. So a three ball, two strike count once again to Alea Garcia. Runners at second and third. Eunice is already cashed in two, looking to keep the line moving. As the wind and the pitch swung on, and that one will be a little jam shot foul down the right field line. Between innings, I'll get the uh, I'll get the score bug uh, properly placed. So three and two again as Garcia's fought off three tough pitches from Jasso to stay alive, and we'll do it again. And swung on and missed as Garcia chases a high fastball. She'll go down swinging for out number two. So two down now for the Lady Cards as Elizabeth Gaetan will step to the plate. Eunice up two to nothing. So Gaetan to the plate, two on, two out, two across, and the first pitch, and that one is right down the pipe. Elizabeth just watches it into the glove of Ramirez, and it'll be strike one. Yeah, so the quick worker already back and swung on and missed. A little rise at the end of that one. We'll make it a no ball, two strike count. Then Gaetan back in, Jasso ready to go on the 0-2 pitch, and that one going to sail and get over the head of Ramirez. But again, not a lot of room behind home plate to the fencing and bounced right back to Ramirez. It will be ball one at the plate to Gaetan. So a one ball, two strike count. As Jasso gets the sign she wants, now she'll come to the plate to Gaetan. Elizabeth will fight that one off, and it goes up into the netting that surrounds the fan areas here at Cleveland High School, so it'll stay a one ball, two strike count. And the wind and the pitch, that one low, and the count will even up at two balls and two strikes. So a 2-2 count to the number seven hitter, Elizabeth Gaetan at the plate, two runs across for the Lady Cards. They'd like to keep the line moving, and the pitch swung on. That one is going to be popped up into shallow right field, and Seifert, I think, loses that one in the sun. It will get Nieto home, so she is aboard. Rodriguez will move to third, and it'll be an RBI bloop single to right for Gaetan. So Eunice now up, whoops, there we go, by a score of three to nothing. They are the visiting team. I'll have to flip that between innings. Now Carlo Ornelas to the plate. First pitch to Ornelas, and that one going to be on the inside corner called strike one. So a no ball, one strike count. As Ornelas back in. 
Ready to go as Jasso will fire, and that one going to be high. And even the count at one and one. Gaetan will move down to second on the pitch. Jasso with the windmill wind comes to the plate, and that one inside and ding-dong off the front of the knee. That never feels good. As Ornella's going to try and walk that one off, but hit by the pitch. She'll hobble down to first, and that'll load them up for the Lady Cards as she's walking a little gingerly over towards first. Don't blame her. Took a fastball right in the side of the knee. That's never a good feeling. Eileen Zamora will be the hitter for Eunice, but right now our concern about Carla Ornelas. Checking on her down behind first base. So while we've got a moment, say a big thank you to our friends at Redbird Gas Company. Parker Energy, Eunice Pump and Supply, Eunice Schools, City of Eunice. Eunice Health Clinic, Lasco Construction, IPS Incorporated, XL Energy, NMR Pipeline, Outlaw Grill, making Lady Cardinal softball possible from here at the state tournament. So now to be the number nine hitter, Zamora, with the bases juiced, and Jasso will get Zamora to chase a high fastball. And she is down now, no balls and one strike. Pressure situation for the young lady. And the pitch swung on, and that one is heading out of play for strike two. Can't worry about doing too much. Just do your job, find a way on base, turn it over to the next person. Eunice has batted around, though, but only three runs across. Two down, bases loaded, trying to add to it. Jasso will deal, and that one is going to be high for ball number one. So the one ball, two strike count, I think, for Eunice. Important thing to do, just put it in play. And let the chips fall where they may. The one-two pitch, and that one will be on the outside corner. Called strike three. Zamora will watch the called strike three. Eunice bats around, puts three runs across in their half of the first. After a half inning, it's Eunice three. Dora coming to the plate as Lady Cardinal softball continues in a moment from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. IPS Incorporated is a proud member of this community. IPS is the turnkey solution in the oil patch. One call to IPS for your upstream and midstream solutions, comprising of dirt work, electrical, pumping, and crane service, plus your automation and control, is all handled with one call. One call for every aspect of your oil and gas project. Google IPS Hobbs or simply call 393-1417. IPS, the turnkey one call oil and gas company. You've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star Energy Efficient LED bulb, one that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. The U.S. Lady Cardinals play three in the top half of the first and take the 3 nothing lead with Dora coming to the plate. I'm T.J. Miracle. Thanks for being with us. As mentioned for the Lady Cards, they get three runs on one, two, three, four, five hits. So three runs on five hits. No attempted by Dora. But the bases were left loaded. Eunice. Leading it off, it'll be Kaysen Inge for Dora. She'll be followed by Jenna Ramirez, then Faith Jasso. Eunice in the field, Stenson in the ring. Nieto is her battery mate. Rodriguez, Jones, Zamora, Gaetan, first to third. Garcia, Pierce, Ornelas in the outfield from left to right. So now it'll be Kaysen Inge to the plate. So Inge will step in to lead off for the Lady Coyotes of Dora. As Stenson in the ring, ready to go. Doesn't pitch with the mask out there. As Kelly will deal the fastball, swung on and missed. A good riser right past Inge. And it is strike one. Outfield playing fairly deep. Infield pretty much their normal positions. Gaetan maybe a half step back at third. Now she shades in, and the 0-1 pitch swung on. That one is going to be popped up over on the right side, going in front of the Eunice dugout, but that one will get on top of the dugout. Rodriguez got there, but Nothing she could do as it goes out of play. And it's now a no ball, two strike count. Three to zero, the lead for the Eunice Lady Cardinals. Of course, as we mentioned earlier, winner will move on to take on the Estancia Lady Bears at one this afternoon. The losing team will have their season come to an end. Stinson has the side she wants from Nieto. 
and will deal the 0-2 pitch swung on, and that'll be a soft grounder. Gaetan gobbles it up at third, fires all the way across the diamond to first, and Rodriguez will stretch out and make the grab 5-3, to three, and there is one down in Dora's bottom half of the first inning. Santa be Jenna Ramirez has turned to the plate, the catcher for the Coyotes. The softball comes back in from out of play. There's the 1A, 2A playoffs starting today, the 4 and 5, 1, 2, and 3 starting today. So Stinson will look in as Ramirez will settle in. Nieto gives the signs. First pitch swung on. That'll be a slow roller. And diving out for it is Zamora, and she knocks it down between second and third, but nothing she can do about it. It'll be a slow roller for Ramirez on the infield single. So one on now and one out for the Dora Lady Coyotes as Faith Jasso, the pitcher, will step up. Jasso going to look to help her own cause out here, trailing three to nothing. So Ramirez stands at first. And Stinson will deal the fastball, swung on and missed. Good inside fastball for strike one. We are settled in slightly up the first baseline, so a little hard to tell sometimes on the in and the up. And the next pitch, that one definitely in. And the count evens up at one and one. Kind of a slight angle behind the left-hand batter's box. A little up the line at first. Well, one ball, one strike count. Pitcher on pitcher duel. Stinson has what she wants. She'll deal to Nieto, and that one will be inside and the throw down to second as moving was Ramirez, and she'll get the stolen base. Good throw from Nieto, a touch high. And I don't think would have gotten Ramirez anyway. Well, I believe it is a two-ball, one-strike count to Jasso at the plate, and it is so a two-ball, one-strike count. Now runner in scoring position for Dora. Stinson has the sign from Nieto and will deal the 2-1, and that one is a riser that keeps rising out of the zone. Ball three. Ramirez stands over at second after the infield single in the stolen base. As Stinson will fire, and that one swung on, and that's a hard shot out to deep center field. Going back, 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 and it gets over the head of Pearson off the wall. That'll get one run home as Jasso rounds second, and she will pull up there as Pierce makes a strong throw in that's cut off by Stinson, but it'll be an RBI double for Jasso. And Dora is on the board. It is now 3-1 to one in favor of the Lady Cards as Justice Deason First baseman cleanup hitter steps in for Dora. Eunice leading three to one. Denson will fire in the rising fastball and just runs that one by her. Says if you can hit it, you can have it. And couldn't that time. So a no ball, one strike count. So Stinson. Pretty quick worker from the windmill wind, and that one in, and that is a roller. Stinson gets it. We'll just toss it over to first. Takes the shore out one to three, four out number two. It will move Jasso over to second, or rather to third. As Brianne Rodriguez will step in. Runner at third, two out. One run across for Dora. Eunice leading this one three to one. Nieto flashes the sign. And Stinson deals inside and a little bit low for ball one. So the one ball, no strike count. Eunice trying to get out of this one without letting Dora put any more on the board. And that one swung on the riser that heads out of play. And so Rodriguez will have the count evened up at her to one and one. Well, that one was rising. I'm pretty sure it would have gone out of the zone, but... If it's close, I guess you got to go for it. So a one ball, one strike count. Stinson ready to go from the ring. And she will deal the riser. And that one is heading up and into the netting for strike two. A hard one, I guess, for Rodriguez to lay off of. You might think about, hey, going for three in a row or maybe coming back with your off-speed pitch. So a one ball, two strike count. One run across for Dora. They've got a runner at third. Stenson takes her time. Now she'll go into the windmill wind, and the pitch swung on, and that one, a slow roller off of the fist. Stenson gets to it and will fire over to first in time. Took the smart play there. Goes one to three. Four out number three. Thought about trying to cut down Jasso at home. 
but made the smart play and took the out at first for out number three. After one inning of play from here at the state tournament, it's Eunice three, Dora one, Lady Cardinal softball continues in a moment here on the Eunice Sports YouTube channel, HobbsAmerica.com. NMR Pipeline is a highly qualified, dedicated company, leading in performance with management and employees who've provided over 45 years of service and pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline is proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Outlaw Grill thanks you for supporting Outlaw Grill throughout the years. Outlaw Grill has all your favorites, from savory soups to burgers, porterhouse steaks, Fettuccine Alfredo, crispy chicken scallopini are just some of the all-time favorites. Outlaw Grill invites you to come in or call your order in 575-392-2012. That's 575-392-2012. And welcome back to Eunice Lady Cardinal Softball as we get the second inning underway. It'll be back to the top of the order. Pierce will take the first one. It'll be a line shot out into left field as Michaela took the first ball she saw and shot it out to left field. So a leadoff single for Pierce, and we are underway. Dora, bottom of the first, one run on two hits, no errors, and they left one runner stranded. Eunice leading this one by a score of three to one. Jasso still in the ring. Now it'll be Haley Jones to the plate. Jones a triple. Down the line and rider last time up, and Haley will watch the first one on the outside, strike one. And on the move is Pierce, and she'll beat out the throw from Ramirez, so she'll have the stolen base, now a runner in scoring position. Three-man Cruz on the umpiring here at the state tournament. I believe it was strike one, so it'll be a no-ball, one-strike count. As Jasso will deal, and that one will be low and away, and even things up at one ball, one strike. Ramirez trying to frame it up. I'm saying, yeah, not this time. So one ball, one strike count. As Jasso deals the riser, and that one is heading over to the field behind us. Heads up, everybody. Strike two. Well, one ball, two strike count. Of course, right now, the Jow Lady Panthers also in action. And the one-two pitch, and that one going to rise up, up, and away. Ball two. So a two ball, two strike count. Jones at the plate, Pierce stands at second. Stenson waits on deck as Jasso deals for door and that riser rises out of the zone and will run the count full to Jones. So that'll run the three, run it to three balls, two strikes. Jasso deals the payoff pitch and that one is up and away, ball four. So Jones will work the one on nobody out walk and on the pitch, Pierce was moving down to third, so now Lady Cards at the corners as Kelly Stinson to the plate. Stinson, an RBI triple, her last time up, and was left stranded at third. Actually, she scored, and Nieto was left stranded. There we go. And the pitch, and that one is going to be up high, ball one. No, well, Nieto scored two. I'll figure it all out. But anyway, Stinson scored, has an RBI triple to her credit. Timeout asked for us. We've got a foul ball coming in from next door. Jones at first. Now Jones has moved to second. Pierce at third. So Jones, no, they're sending her back. So runner left early, no pitch. And so there'll be one down. So Jones left early. So left early will cost Eunice an out. And the pitch, and that'll be on the inside corner. And that'll be a strike. So runner leaving early costs Eunice an out and a base runner. Michaela Pierce still stands at third, but Jones wiped out, leaving early, trying to steal the base. And the 0-1 pitch swung on, and that one is going to be popped up over on the right side as running into shallow right field is Croft, and she will make the grab. But tagging up and coming in will be Michaela Pierce, and that will make this a 4-1 to Eunice lead. So for Stinson, it'll be a sack fly to right 
with her second RBI of the ball game. So now two down for Eunice, nobody on, as Melanie Nieto to the plate. Nieto, an RBI single her last time up and scored. As the catcher will take the first pitch and fight it off the hands and up into the netting for strike number one. So the no ball, one strike count. To Nieto at the plate, one for one. Jasso will deal, and that one is going to be low. And the count evens up at one ball and one strike. Pretty good crowd on hand making the trek up from Lee County today. And from southeast New Mexico, the 1-1 one -one pitch, and that one is going to be low and in. Or ball two to Nieto. So the two ball, one strike count. We're in the top of the second. Eunice leading by three. And the pitch, and that one is going to run inside for ball number three. So Nieto, catcher, of course, with a good eye, sees a lot of things behind the plate. And the 3 1 pitch swung on, and that one will be a slow roller that'll go foul down the first baseline. So that will run the count full to the Lady Cards catcher, Melanie Nieto. Nobody on two out, but Eunice Frankensteining a run across. On the leadoff single by Pierce. And a couple of stolen bases. The wind and the pitch swung on, and that'll be a slow roller. Seifert will handle it. Bear hands it up at second. Tosses over to Deason at first in time. Four to three, four out number three. But the Lady Cards put another run on the board after an inning and a half. It's Eunice four, Dora one. More Lady Cardinal softball in just a moment from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Grill. Bart Parker, owner of Redbird LP Gas Company and his employees, are proud of their Eunice Cardinals. Bart, class of 1971, state champions of both basketball and baseball, support the kids with their academics and athletics. They realize that balancing both is challenging and appreciate their determination. Redbird knows the Eunice Cardinals have worked really hard to get where they're at, and they are cheering them on all the way. Bart and his crew say, Go Eunice Cardinals! Parker Energy, family owned and operated since 2006. Their team is known for their hard work and dedication, big enough to meet your needs for transport, pump trucks, vacuum trucks, and disposal services. Parker Energy and their staff are huge supporters of all Lee County sports and academics. They encourage their young adults to go the extra mile, whether it's sports, grades, or just being a better you. Parker Energy Support Services, 2350 Avenue O, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. For the Lady Cards, they get one run on one hit. No errors committed by Dora, and nobody left on. We head to the bottom of the second inning. Eunice 4, Dora 1. I'm TJ Miracle. Great to have you with us today. Start of the state tournament is it'll be Kinsley Inge, Miranda Gomez, and Riley Croft due up for the Lady Coyotes of Dora. Stinson still in the ring for Eunice, and her first pitch, and that one will be in there. Beautiful pitch, strike one. So the no ball, one strike count. Just underway here in the bottom of the second. And sets up towards the back of the left side box. As Stinson has what she wants and she'll deal and that one gonna miss just away. And the count evens up at one ball and one strike. Six, seven, and eight due up for Dora. Here in this bottom of the second. Win or go home time for both of these squads. And the 1-1 pitch, and that one going to rise out of the zone for ball two. So a two and one count. Garcia, Pierce, and Ornelas all playing about halfway back in the outfield. Ornelas slides, shades slightly towards the line and right, and the pitch swung on, and that one is high in the air to center field, and coming over to the right side is Pierce sticks up the glove on the run, and will make the grab. Good move there for Michaela Pierce, and it'll be a fly out to center, and there's one down. Pardon me. So that'll bring up Miranda Gomez, the third baseman for Dora. And Stinson has the sign from Nieto, and will deal, and that one gets a piece of it, and it'll be strike one. So an O-ball, one strike count to the number seven hitter, Miranda Gomez. Stinson, the quick worker. 
Will deal and gets her to swing and foul off a rising fastball. Strike two. And pardon me, I, I got a got a face full of dirt a second ago. Going no ball, two strike count. Gomez at the plate, one down. Eunice leading and trying to keep it right where it is. Stinson in the ring. Will deal. Took something off of that one, but it'll be low. In ball one, so the one ball, two strike count. Outfield playing fairly deep and field pretty much their normal positions with one uh, nobody out and one on, or rather one out and nobody on. As that one will rise for ball number two. So a two ball, two strike count to Gomez. Stinson looks in. And from the windmill wide, will fire that one in there. Yes, ma'am, ring her up and set her down. First K of the ball game for Stinson. And there is two down for Dora here in the bottom of the second. So that'll bring the number eight hitter, Riley Croft, to the plate. So two down, nobody on. You're just trying to get to the third with this one staying right where it is, a four to one. Lady Cardinal lead. And the pitch, and that one is going to be up high for ball one to Croft. Oh, one ball, no strike count. Due up for Eunice in the third. Be Rodriguez Garcia Gaetan, 5 6 7. He'd like to get a clean inning out of this one as Stinson will deal, and that one will be low for ball two. So a two ball, no strike count. Two down here in the bottom of the second inning. Stinson deals, and that one, Yanto tries to frame it up. The ump says, no, nope, not this time, young lady, and it'll be a ball three to the number eight hitter, Riley Croft. So I have to see if the green light is on. I'm thinking she'll probably be taking in the 3-0, and she's not, and it'll be a slow roller to Jones at second. Gets to it, and will shot put it over to Rodriguez at first. Plenty of time. The green light was on. And she grounds out four to three to end the inning. It's a one, two, three, they go affair for Dora in their half of the second. We go to the third. It's Eunice four, Dora one. This is Lady Card Softball from the state tournament from the Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Eunice Public Schools is proud of their Eunice Cardinals, the Eunice community, and the staff of Eunice Schools. Eunice Public Schools has anchored itself as an integral part of the Eunice community and takes school safety very seriously. Eunice Schools have continually provided a quality education for the students of Eunice through good times and bad. The Eunice School District appreciates the Eunice community, and they're proud of their Eunice Cardinals. Eunice is on the move. Are you ready? Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. One, two, three, go the Lady Coyotes in their half of the second as we go to the third. Sandra Rodriguez will lead it off, and she'll take the first pitch low for ball number one. Rodriguez, one for one. Had a single to ride her last time up. As the pitch swung on, and that'll be a slow roller. Could be trouble. Seafort will charge over to it, gets a hand on it, but tries to barehand it and overruns it, and so Rodriguez will reach on an E4. Hey, however you can get them on and move them around, you'll take it. Maybe that starts the big inning as Alea Garcia will step in. Garcia 0 for 1. It was Rodriguez Garcia Gaetan. 5, 6, and 7. So Rodriguez reaches on the error. Got to be careful not to leave early. You know that Coach Kimple's going to be aggressive. Is that one going to sail over the head of Ramirez? So on the wild pitch, Rodriguez will move easily down to second. And it'll be ball one at the plate to Garcia. So now a runner in scoring position. Eunice going to try and tack some runs on here in this top of the third inning. Jasso going to be ready, and she'll fire, and that one is going to be 
at the knees for ball number two. Pretty good pitch there, but too low, so a two ball, no strike count. And the pitch swung on and missed as ran the fastball by Garcia. And it is a two and one count again. Jasso, pretty quick worker in the ring, doesn't take a lot of time once she has what she wants. She'll come to the windmill wind, and the pitch swung on and missed, and that'll even it up at two balls and two strikes. So the two ball, two strike count. To Garcia at the plate and the pitch, and that one gonna rise out of the zone and will run the count full. So second full count that Garcia has seen in her two plate appearances. Jasso has what she wants and deals, and Garcia goes down swinging for the second time in the ball game. There is one down now for Eunice. Here in this top of the third, so now to be Elizabeth Gaetan to the plate. Gaetan, an RBI single. Her last time up was left stranded, and she'll chop at the first pitch. Might have been a little up and out of the zone. No matter how you look at it, though, it is strike one. In the 0-1 pitch, and that one going to roll and going to get away from Ramirez. And heading over to third on the passed ball this time will be Rodriguez. So a one ball, one strike count. To Elizabeth Gaitan at the plate. Another potential run just 60 feet away in the pitch, and that one is going to be upstairs, ball two. So the two ball, one strike count. Gaitan at the plate, the Eunice third baseman. Gas will deal the 2 1, and that one's going to rise up out of the zone for ball number three. So the 3 1 count. Eunice trying to add to a three run lead. They're up 4 to 1. Here in the elimination round of the state tournament. And the pitch swung on, and Gaitan gets a piece of that one and will foul it back to the screen. And it runs the count full. It's in. 4A, 5A last week, the elimination round took place. For 1A, 2A, they are combined. The elimination round takes place here in Albuquerque. And the payoff pitch as Gaetan will chase a high fastball. Swing and a miss, strike three, and shakes her head as she heads back to the dugout. And there's two down for Eunice. And now to be Carlo Ornelas to the plate. Ornelas hit by a pitcher last time up and was left stranded at third. So she's going to step in 0 for 0. And the first pitch right down the pipe, but it'll be a slow roller. Jasso will get it and, ooh, throws it low, but Deason will dig it out of the dirt in time. 1 to 3. Or out number 3. So Eunice gets the leadoff batter on, but can't move her home. After 2.5, it is Eunice 4, Dora 1. Lady Cardinal Softball continues from the state tournament on the Love Eunice Sports YouTube channel and HobbsAmerica.com. Small town atmosphere, great schools and churches, and a low cost of living. The entire community is very involved with all levels of sports and academics. The Eunice Department of Motor Vehicles' new office hours are Monday through Thursday, 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., and Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. No testing on Friday. Eunice, a friendly small town with a wonderful community and amenities. The Eunice Clinic is proud to support the Eunice Cardinals. Go Cardinals! You're the pride of Eunice. The Eunice Health Clinic offers many of the same basic services that many local physicians provide. They specialize in well sick care for all ages, well women's exams, physicals, health education, lab tests, and diagnostic studies. They're proud supporters of athletic and academic events. The Eunice Health Clinic is proud to back the Cardinals. Go Cards! And welcome back to Eunice Lady Cardinal Softball here on a beautiful Wednesday morning. Opening round of the state tournament. Eunice, no runs, no hits. One error committed by Doran. One Lady Cardinal left on as we head to the bottom of the third. It'll be Seifert leading off. And the first pitch from Stinson will be high for ball one. Eunice leading this one four to one. Nine, one and two. Seifert ends Ramirez. Due up for the Lady Coyotes. Stinson ready to go, has what she wants, and she'll deal the fastball, and that one will be a comebacker. Stinson underhands it, and then will toss it over to Rodriguez at first. One to three for out number one. So pretty efficient right there, as that'll turn it over to Kaysen Inge. So Inge 0 for 1. 
grounded out to Gaetan back in the first. So she'll step in with nobody on and one out. Rodriguez, Jones, and what a guy, Ton, around the infield, first to third. Stinson in the ring will deal, and that one going to roll into Inge, ball one. Don't think that's quite what Kelly intended to do. As he blows on the fingertips a little bit, like, all right, now, now we're ready. And the 1-0 delivery, and swung on and missed. Got her to chase a low one in the dirt. And the count evens up at a ball and a strike. Winner moves on to take on Estancia this afternoon at one. Should be Eunice. Of course, we'll have that game for you right here. And the 1-1 pitch. Swung on and missed. Got her with the changeup. One of those that Stinson does not use just a whole lot, but I think maybe slightly more effective because of it. So it's a one ball, two strike count. Stinson has the sign. Handle deal. And that one, the curve ball, doesn't break enough as Inge flinches out of the way of ball two. So a two ball, two strike count. Sun high in the air, gonna be mid 80s here today in the Albuquerque area and the two two pitch and that one will be inside ball three. So that'll run the count full to the leadoff hitter, Kaysen Inge. First batter that has taken Stinson full in this ball game through two and a third. And the payoff pitch swung on and getting just a piece of it to stay alive, Inge will survive. He's got that one right off the end of the bat to keep her hopes this at bat alive, so she'll trot back into the right side batter's box. So sounds like a loud game going on behind us. We'll try and get an update on how that one's going. Of course, that's with the Jowl Lady Panthers as a slow roller. Gaetan at third, fires over, and it is in time. Inge, good speed, but a good throw from Gaetan. To Rodriguez and Inge will be out five to three for the second time in the ball game and for her the second out in this third inning. So now Jenna Ramirez to the plate. Ramirez with the infield single her last time up. So she is one for one with a stolen base and has Dora's only run scored. So Stenson ready to go. And she'll deal, and that one is going to be inside ball number one. So the one ball, no strike count. Should the Lady Cardinals hang on and win this? Again, they'll play Estancia right back here at field three. And that's a hard shot. Going to find its way through between third and short. Coming up is Garcia getting to it quickly and getting it in. But Ramirez just sat back on a fastball and took it out into left. So it'll be a two-out single for Ramirez. And that'll turn things over to the pitcher, Faith Jasso. Jasso at the RBI double her last time up. So she's one for one. And... Looking to help her own cause here, pitcher-on-pitcher pitcher duel. Yeah, Stinson deals, and that one swung on, and that one is going to be popped up. Over on the left side, could be trouble. It is tailing off into foul ground, and nobody able to get to it in time. I think Gaetan at third lost it in the sun as Garcia was charging over. Zamora charging out too, but just couldn't get there in time. So it'll wind up just being a long-winded strike one. So a no ball, one strike count. Yeah, the sun is over to the left side of the diamond. So especially on the right side, if you're going right, it could be problems. And the 0-1 pitch swung on, and that one is up over our heads and out of play. And so now a no ball, two strike count. Stinson ahead of her pitching compatriot, Jasso. Stinson does a little work in the ring. Now she's ready. Jasso back in. And the 0-2 pitch, and that one going to bounce in. And on the bounce, Ramirez will take off for second and will move across over into scoring position. But just two outs, or there is two outs, so you don't need to worry as much about the runner. Issue with him not at third. So will one ball, two strike count to Jasso at the plate. Stinson in the ring for Eunice. Nieto is her battery mate. Outfield playing fairly deep. Infield pretty much their normal positions as the one-two pitch, and that one is going to just miss inside. And even the count at two balls and two strikes, and the faithful wanted it, didn't get it. So it's a two-ball, two-strike count. Jasso at the plate. 
And the 2-2 pitch, and that one is in there. Yes, ma'am, ring her up and set her down. Second K of the ball game for Stenson, and it means it's a four-up, three-down inning for the Dora Lady Coyotes. And that should be out number three. I don't know what they're coming up and talking about. That was strike three. And are they going to call a balk on it instead? So they're going to call an illegal pitch, and that will actually, it was a strike, but it was an illegal pitch. They're saying she rolled the ball in her hand before she let it go. So we'll reset and we'll try again, and that one swung on and foul tipped into the umpire. So we will try again with three balls and two strikes. I really got to start doing my book and pencil. So a three ball, two strike count. So at the plate. And the wind and the payoff pitch, and that one is going to be inside. Ball four. Runner goes down to third and safe on the stolen base. So Jasso, thanks to an illegal pitch, will get a walk. And now there will be Lady Coyotes at the corners and Justice Deason to the plate. Deason, the cleanup hitter, grounded out to Stinson back in the first. So two out, two on. As Stinson will deliver, and that one is going to be up and away. And a quick throw back to first as Nieto fires a bullet to Stinson. Jasso will move down to second. Now Jasso at second, Ramirez at third. And it is ball one at the plate to Deason. And the 1 0 count, and that one going to roll in, ball number two. So a two ball, no strike count. The leadoff hitter with a Soft grounder back to the pitcher. And now Stinson will deal, and that one's going to come inside for ball number three to Deason. Started out with the grounder by Seifert, and then a grounder to third by Inge. Then a single by Ramirez, and then Jasso actually had struck out, but they called the illegal pitch on strike three. And then she walked on the next pitch, and it's a 3-0 count at the plate to Deason, and she'll take that one up high, and it'll be at the top of the zone for strike one. So a three ball, one strike count. Lady Cards leading this one by a score of four to one. We are in the bottom of the third inning. So Deason back in. Stenson has the sign from Nieto and she'll fire and that one will be just high for ball number four. So that'll walk the bases loaded for Dora. Now they threaten with Brianne Rodriguez to the plate. So Rodriguez will step in 0 for one. Time for Stinson to bear down. She's pitching out of a jam now to be sure. And the pitch swung on, and that'll be a hard shot. Goes right to Gaetan at third, and she will step on third and get the force on Jasso for out number three. So the bases are left loaded as the Lady Coyotes threaten, but come up empty in the third. We head to the fourth. It's Eunice four, Dora one. More Lady Cardinal softball in a moment. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. IPS Incorporated is a proud member of this community. IPS is the turnkey solution in the oil patch. One call to IPS for your upstream and midstream solutions, comprising of dirt work, electrical, pumping, and crane service, plus your automation and control, is all handled with one call. One call for every aspect of your oil and gas project. Google IPS Hobbs or simply call 393-1417. IPS, the turnkey one call oil and gas company. You've just changed them. Dora threatens but comes up empty in the bottom of the third. No runs on one hit, no errors, but they leave the bases loaded. Leading off for the Lady Cardinals as we go to the top of the fourth, it'll be Aileen Zamora, Michaela Pierce, then Haley Jones, 9-1-2. 
two up for Eunice as the first pitch is going to go up, up, and away to Zamora for ball one. So one ball, no strike count. We are in the top of the fourth inning. Eunice with a three-run lead. Jasso still in the ring for the Lady Coyotes. And she'll deal, swung on, and Zamora gets a piece of it, fouls it out of play as the count evens up at one ball and one strike. Empire waiting for some new softballs to come in. We're softball today, softball and baseball tomorrow. And we hope softball and baseball Thursday and Friday too, or rather Friday and Saturday too. So one ball, one strike count to Zamora, and that one is going to be up and away for ball two. With two ball and one strike count. Zamora, the number nine hitter, 0 for 1. Jasso will kick and fire. Swung on, and that went off the fist. Sent into foul ground just behind third base. And will fall in strike number two. Ooh, got another baseball softball. It just came in. Infield for Dora. Actually playing in a little bit with Zamora. Outfield. Still playing about two-thirds of the way back. Pretty well straight up. As the 2-2 pitch on the way, took something off of that one, and it is in there, called strike three, and Zamora will go down looking. And there is one down here in this top of the fourth inning. So that will turn things back over to Michaela Pierce. Pierce with a shot out to left her last time up. She's one for two. The run scored in a stolen base. She'll adjust the batting gloves. And will step back in, steps in to get ready for her third duel against Jassa. Of course, now third time through. And the first pitch swung on, and that'll be a hard shot. Backhanded in the hole by Rodriguez. It's short, and she'll fire across in time to get the speedy Pierce's decent stretched out. Credit where credit is due. That was a tough play. Garcia, or rather Rodriguez, had to go towards third, backhand that one, then turn all the way around and make a strong throw across the diamond. Six to three for out number two. So a good defensive play as Jones will step in, and she'll take the first pitch on the inside corner called strike one. So nobody on, two out. As Dora trying to get their first clean inning of the ball game. Jones right in the middle of the right side box, and she'll foul that one up into the chain link. And so now it's a no ball, two strike count. So Owen to the count. Nobody on, two down for the Lady Cards. And the pitch swung on, and that one is going to be popped up over on the right side, and the pitcher herself, Jasso, will come over between the ring and first and make the grab for out number three. So Eunice goes quickly, one, two, three. In the fourth, we head to the bottom of the fourth. Eunice four, Dora one. More Lady Cardinal softball in a moment from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star energy efficient LED bulb. One that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. NMR Pipeline is a highly qualified, dedicated company, leading in performance with management and employees who've provided over 45 years of service and pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline. And welcome back to... Uh, Eunice Lady Cardinal State Tournament Softball from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Eunice goes one, two, three, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. In the top of the fourth to the bottom of the fourth, it'll be Kinsley Inge, the number six hitter leading it off, the lefty for Dora, and she'll take the first pitch low, and that will be ball one. Inge flew out to center. Her last time up, though the 1-0 count. As Stinson, still in the ring, will fire, and that one going to be at the top of the zone. Nice pitch, and things even up at a ball and a strike. Just underway, bottom of the fourth. Eunice with a three-run lead, do-or-die game. You win this one, you get into the double elimination portion of the tournament. 
Stinson, the quick worker, the 1-1. One, one. Ooh, that one's going to sail. Nieto has to come out of the crouch, but we'll keep it in the glove for ball two. Inge gomez crop on the way. This inning, 6-7-8 for Dora, who threatened last inning but came up empty. They left the bases loaded. Now both teams have done that in this affair. And the 2-1 pitch, and that one right down the pipe as Inge goes, Ugh, no, I should have swung at that one. Yeah, she may not get a better pitch to hit in her whole career from that one. Stinson just ran it up there, and Inge just watched it. So the two-ball, two-strike count. Yeah, Stinson will deal, and that one will be high, and that will run the count full. So three balls, two strikes, just underway. Bottom of the fourth inning. Dora wants base runners. Eunice wants to keep things right where they are at. Stinson has gotten it to a 3-2 count against Inge, and the payoff pitch swung on and missed. Ring her up and set her down. Strikeout number three for Kelly Stinson. Officially, it's only strikeout number two because we had to wipe one off because of an illegal pitch, but no matter how you look at it, there is still one down as Miranda Gomez to the plate. And the first pitch to Gomez, she'll swing on that one and take it out into right field. It'll go foul, though, deep in right field. But Gomez, not waiting around, takes a hack at a pretty good fastball, catches a piece of it, and shoots it out to right. So it was a little bit late on it, but still got good lumber on it. So a no-ball, one-strike count. Stinson ready to work. Nieto sets up, and the pitch swung on, and that one is going to be popped up over on the right side, and that one, I think, going to get out of play, and it will. So Gomez down, no balls, two strikes. Gomez will step out, looks down at Coach Jasso, and those are even things out. So a one-two count as the wind's starting to pick up. It is supposed to be an extremely windy day here in the Albuquerque area. And the 0-2 pitch, and that one is going to be inside corner. Yes, ma'am, ringer up, center down, back-to-back -back Ks for Kelly Stinson, and there is two down for Dora here in this bottom of the fourth inning. Of course, coming up after this one, coming up about 1 o'clock this afternoon. If Eunice wins, we will have game Number two today in the first pitch to the number nine hitter. That'll be number eight hitter, Croft, and that's in there called strike one. So the no ball, one strike count. No Stinson with back-to-back -back Ks. And the pitch, Owl, that one came in, and that one is going to get Croft in the right shoulder. She was trying to turn away from it, so the hurt first hit batter for Dora. And that'll give it to the number nine hitter, Caitlin Seifert. And Seifert grounded out back to Stinson her last time up. Outfield playing pretty deep. Zamora may be playing a step over towards the bag at short. So from short to second. And the first pitch swung on, and that one's going to be fouled off as Seifert swings over the top of it, but gets, gets just a piece of strike number one. Eunice hanging on to a 4-1 to one lead. Up well, by three. Stinson deals, swung on and missed. Got Seifert out in front of a pretty good changeup. Strike number two, so a no ball, two strike count. Of course, a district matchup. Eunice and Dora, same district. We open up the state tournament here, so 0 and 2 the count. And the pitch, and that one going to come in, and that one is going to get Seifert in the rib cage. That one's slipping out of the hands of Stinson a little bit. So back-to-back -back hit batters. And now there's runners at first and second for Dora. And they turn it back over to the top of the lineup and case an inch. So back -to -back batters, at this point, you just got to shake it off. And say, well, come on back after, after the top of the lineup. And now third time through the lineup for Dora. Eunice in the lead of this one by a score of 4-1, to one, but Dora threatening with two down, trying to get a two-out rally. First pitch swung on. That one is lifted high in the air to deep right center field. That's going back, 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 and it is off of the wall. Ornelas will get to it, but that'll plate one, and it could actually wind up plating. Nope, it'll just plate one. 
As Croft will score from second, Seifert was not moving particularly good, and Inge will have an RBI double to right. And so that'll make this a four to two ball game as Dora has cut it in half. And so now runners at second and third, and Jenna Ramirez to the plate. She's two for two. And the first pitch to Ramirez will bounce in, and that'll be ball one. So the one ball, no strike count. Ramirez at the plate. Runner at third is Seifert. Runner at second is Inge. And the pitch swung on and missed as Ramirez goes over the top of a skimming fastball. Well, it just gets on the deck and pretty much stays there. Ramirez was thinking it was going to rise late. It did not, so the one ball, one strike pitch. And that one swung on, and that one is going to be popped up over on the right side as coming over into foul ground in front of the Eunice dugout as Rodriguez and makes the grab, almost pops out. Use two hands over there, young lady, but she holds on to it, so the pop out to the first baseman. Four out number three. Dora puts another run across, though. We head to the fifth. It's Eunice four, Dora two. More Lady Cardinal softball in a moment from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Outlaw Grill thanks you for supporting Outlaw Grill throughout the years. Outlaw Grill has all your favorites, from savory soups to burgers, porterhouse steaks, fettuccine alfredo, crispy chicken scallopini are just some of the all-time favorites. Outlaw Grill invites you to come in or call your order in 575-392-2012. That's 575-392-2012. It's a fast turnaround time for a delicious gourmet meal from the crew at Outlaw Grill. Bart Parker, owner of Redbird LP Gas Company and his employees, are proud of their Eunice Cardinals. Bart, class of 1971, state champions of both basketball and baseball, support the kids with their academics and athletics. They realize that balancing both is challenging and appreciate their determination. Redbird knows the Eunice Cardinals have worked really hard to get where they're at, and they are cheering them on all the way. Bart and his crew say, Go Eunice Cardinals! Bart Parker, owner of Red. And welcome back for the Dora Lady Coyotes in their half of the fourth inning. In the bottom of the fourth, they get one run on one hit, no errors, and they leave two runners on base. So we head to the top of the fifth. It'll be the heart of the lineup. Stinson Nieto Rodriguez, three, four, and five, due up for Eunice. Four to two is the score. And we've got a six three ball game going on behind us as it looks like Jowl leading Mesilla Valley Christian six to three in the fourth inning of that one. And the first pitch, and that one's going to be swung on and driven as Stinson gets a piece of that one, and it is misplayed by Croft out in right. She came up short and just kind of reached her arm out and grabbed it, and so it'll be an error, an E9, and Stinson will be on on the second error of the ball game committed by Dora. That'll bring Melanie Nieto to the plate. Yuna's going to try and get that run back, and they'd like to maybe get a few more to go with them. And now Melanie Nieto to the plate. Nieto one for two. And the first pitch from the cards catcher pops it up over on the right side, and that one is going to come off of the netting and the umbrella just to my right and then bounce out into the crowd for strike one. The tournament is still early. I have not been hit yet, but give it time. And a no-ball one-strike count to Nieto is Jasso going to bounce that one in, and it'll bounce all the way past Rod Ramirez. And that will let Stinson go all the way to third. Evens the count up at one and one to Nieto. So Jasso now in a bit of a jam here in the one one pitch and that one will be inside. Bounces out of the glove of Ramirez but she keeps it pretty much right with her. So that keeps Stinson over at third. And it's a two ball, one strike count. Now a two ball, one strike count. And the pitch and that one just off the outside corner, ball three. So now a 3-1 count. Stinson at third, reached on an error. And moved over to third on the pass ball. And the 3-1 pitch swung on, and that'll be a slow chopper, and that one's going to go over and die. Gomez gets to it, pushes across, but not in time. Is ready to come in and sliding it home is Stinson. Stinson will score, and he gets to with the infield at the a single, and Eunice has their run the score and now it'll bring 
Deandra Rodriguez to the plate, one for two, but has reached twice. Singled in the first, reached beat an error in the third. So now it'll be Rodriguez to the plate. But Nieto standing at first. Ziandra settles in. And Asso will kick and fire fastball in corner, strike one. They hit for Nieto almost like a bunt. It got out between home and third and just died in the dirt. As Rodriguez waves at one. And that'll be quickly no balls, two strikes. Now she's got to go into plate protection mode. So a no ball, two strike count and the 0-2 pitch. And that went inside, ball one. So now a one ball, two strike count. Outfield deep, infield pretty much their normal positions. And the wind in the pitch and that one going to sail and be ball two. And on the wild pitch, that will move Nieto down to second. So now runner in scoring position, nobody out. One run across for Eunice. They're trying to add to it. Rodriguez at the plate with a two-ball, two-strike count. Will settle back in. Jasso kicks and deals for Door, and that riser rises right out of the zone. So Rodriguez goes from being down, no balls, two strikes, to looking at a full count. The wind continues to kick up, and that pitch is going to bounce off of the netting for ball number four, and so Rodriguez will work the walk. And on another wild pitch, Nieto will move down to third, and now it'll be Alea Garcia to the plate. Garcia 0 for 2, but you got a feeling she may be due. So Garcia will take the first pitch right down the pipe, and that'll be in there called strike one. Rodriguez will move down to second. Now runners at second and third, and that one going to sail. Ramirez does a nice job behind the plate keeping a glove on it as the count evens up at one ball and one strike to the number six hitter, Alea Garcia. And the pitch to Garcia, and that one is heading out of play and over to the field behind. So now Garcia going to have to go into plate protection mode. Nobody out, two on. Eunice trying to blow things open here in the fifth. They lead by three. And the pitch swung on and missed as Garcia goes down on strikes for the third time in the ball game. Gets away from Ramirez momentarily. She tosses down to Decent at first. So there's one down now for the Lady Cards, but still two on as Elizabeth Gaetan steps in. Gaetan, one for two, had an RBI single back in the first. Now a chance for the Cardinal third baseman to maybe cash some more of them in. And the pitch, and Gaetan going to watch that one at the knees on the inside corner called strike one. So an ball, one strike count. Jasso quickly ready to go again, and that one going to sail and get away from the catcher Ramirez and moving along and sliding in safely under the throw of Ramirez. Tossed it high to Jasso, and sliding in is Nieto as she takes home, and Eunice will get another one on the board. They're up 6-2. to two. So Jasso has started losing a little control as they've been sailing on her. And Coach Kemp will take an advantage of it and send in Nieto home. So two runs across. Gaetan at the plate. One ball, one strike count. And that one going to sail. Ramirez has to grab a hold of that one. Ball number two. On the wild pitch, Rodriguez moved around to third. So she's 60 feet away from getting cashed in. 2-1 at the plate, and that one going to sail, and the runner comes as Rodriguez, well, nope, she pulled up about halfway down and came back as that one bounced off of the chain link and right back to Ramirez. No point in getting overly aggressive here, and the pitch swung on and missed as Gaetan, a little bit of right, late rise on that. And it'll run the count full to three and two. So the three ball, two strike count, full count to Gaetan. Jasso deals, swung on, and that'll be a line shot out into left field coming up on it. And misplaying it is Inge, and now it's going to get Byer. And that will put a run across as Gaetan will cruise into second on the E7. Would have been an RBI. Would have been a sack RBI instead. It's an E7 that will leave Gaetan standing at second. And the line keeps moving for Eunice. Now it'll be Carla Ornelas' turn at the plate. So 
Now Ornelas will step in. She is 0 for 1, was hit by a pitch in the first, grounded out in the third. Now she's got Gaetan standing at second. In the first pitch, and that's a hard shot, and right into the end of the glove of Deason. And she grabs it, and she will go over and tap first just to make sure, but a hard shot for Ornelas, but right into the glove of Deason for out number two. You can't hit one much harder than that. You also can't hit it more right at somebody. Then that'll be Zamora to the plate, two out, and a runner on, three across for Eunice this inning. And Ornelas will, or rather Zamora, takes a pretty good hack at the first one. It'll be strike one. No, no ball, one strike count. Gaetan stands at second, reaching via the RBI error in the pitch, and that one is up and away. And the count evens up at a ball and a strike, so a one ball, one strike count. It swung on, and that'll be a line shot. That's going to find its way through into right field. Coming up on it is Knopf, but rounding third and heading home is Gaetan, and it'll be an RBI single for Leilene Zamora. So Zamora with the RBI single to right, and Eunice goes up by a score now of 8-2, to two, and it turns it back over to the top of the lineup and Michaela Pierce. So Pierce is one for three, single and scored in the second. And he's hit the ball pretty hard all three times she's been at the plate. And she'll take the first pitch and she'll wave at a rising fastball, strike one. Eunice can hang on to win this one. Of course, they'd move on to play Estancia at one this afternoon. A one delivery and that one is gonna float away. And the count evens up at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count. Big day for softball here in Albuquerque. That next pitch gonna run inside from Jasso to Pierce, ball two. Of course, opening of the 1A, 2A, and 3A tournaments today. 4A and 5A will start tomorrow. And the pitch swung on and that one is out of play and heading next door. And the count evens up at two balls and two strikes. So a two ball, two strike count as we await some New softballs coming in. Eunice with four runs across this inning, trying to keep things going with two outs. They lead this one by a score of eight to two. They're trying to blow this one open. As now Pierce back in, two ball, two strike count, Jasso ready to go, and the two-two pitch swung on. That one is gonna be popped up over on the left side and we'll get out of play. Then so that'll keep everything knotted up at two apiece. Of course, again, Eunice hangs on and wins this one. One o'clock against Estancia. They were to win that game, they'd be off until tomorrow morning. One one pitch swung on and takes a high one and will shoot it between the fields and foul out of play on the left side. Coach Kimple laughs and says, yeah, you shouldn't be uh, swatting, at, swatting at him like that. All right, you got a piece of it, so stays alive. Two balls, two strikes. So the two ball, two strike count, Jasso deals and that one swung on and that one is gonna be into right field, could fall and it will fall between the center fielder and the right fielder as coming around is Zamora and nope, she's gonna get pulled back by Coach Kimple. So it'll be a two out single to right for Pierce. And now there are lady cards at the corner, Zamora at third, Pierce at first and Haley Jones to the plate. Jones a triple to right her first time up, then walked and was called out when she left the base early and then popped out. Officially, she is one for two, but now two on, two out, trying to get some more runs across, and that one is gonna be up, up, and away for ball number one. Pierce will move down to second. And it's a one ball, no strike count to Jones at the plate. Pitch in that one is gonna be Hit off the bottom of the bat and rolls over in front of the door. Dug out down the third baseline. Count evens up at a ball and a strike. So if Jones can find a way on, Stinson waits on deck. Eunice has batted around for the second time in the ball game. Swung on and that one is out of play. Heads up over on the right side, strike two. Oh, the one ball, two strike count. Eunice now up eight to two. Trying to keep the line moving with two outs. You've got Zamora at third, Pierce at second. 
Two down and a one-two count to Haley Jones at the plate. A Cardinal second baseman waits the pitch and takes that one and pops it up over on the right side again and coming over and misplaying it is Seaford at second and that'll get a run home and that'll get two runs across as aggressive base running. Zamora will score, Pierce will score, and Jones reaches on the E4. So back to back, or rather two errors in the inning have cost some major runs for Dora. And it keeps the line moving for Eunice. So now it'll be Kelly Stinson to the plate with one on and no and two outs. Stinson led off the inning by reaching via an error. And that'll do it for Seaford as she is going to be pulled off of and put out. So we've got Morgan going in. In the nine spot for Seifert. And she will actually go out to right field. So that's Morgan going to right and Cropped coming to second. So some changes after the error. <laughs> and that'll turn it over to Kelly Stenson. Stenson will take the first pitch from Jasso and gets a piece of it. So foul tip for strike number one. The whole ball, one strike count. Jones at first. They're trying to keep things going. And the pitch up high from Jasso. And evens the out, one ball and one strike. So the one ball, one strike count. Kelly Stinson looking to keep the line moving to build her cushion and she'll take that one and pop it up and that'll head out of play. And now Stinson down in the count, one ball and two strikes. So the one, two count. Eunice has cashed some runs in this inning. 10 to two now the lead. In the pitch is Stinson going to foul that one off of her leg. Ow. That never feels good. The ball going to come back out and kind of get thrown away and kicked around a little bit. But Jones content to stay over at second. So a one ball, two strike count to Stinson. And the pitch, and she'll take that one foul down the left field line. So just a little bit in front of that one. The way the wind's blowing, that one kind of swirling a little bit. So a one ball, two strike count, Stinson at the plate. Eunice has blown things open here in the fifth. And the pitch, Stinson will take a line shot out into shallow left field. Ground in second and heading to third. The throw in not going to be in time, and that one is going to get away from the third baseman Gomez, but it'll be a two out single to right for Stinson, and she'll actually a two out double to left, double to left, there we go. My brain is, my eyeballs are seeing one thing, my brain is thinking one thing, and my mouth is saying another. So keeping the line moving is now Melanie Nieto to the plate. Nieto had a single her last time up, RBI single and scored. So now Nieto with runners at second and third. In the first pitch, Nieto will golf that one four out of play over the Eunice dugout down the first baseline, strike one. Is that the pitching wedge or the nine iron? So one ball, no ball, one strike count. Nieto at the plate. And the pitch swung on, and that's a hard shot. Foul down the right field line, strike two. So Nieto going after him. No, no ball, two strike count. Stenson at second, Jones at third. Eunice trying to put another couple across. If they could, and that one will be high. Nieto watches the riser for ball one. 10-2 the score, top of the fifth inning. Eunice in control of this one. And that one going to sail. Ramirez has to go climb the fence and comes out of her crouch and makes a good stop to save a run. So the count will go to two balls, two strikes. 
And on the 2-2 pitch, and that one is going to be inside. Gets away from Ramirez. Coming home is Jones, and she will slide in safely on the passed ball. And another run has scored for the Lady Cards, and the count runs full to Nieto at the plate. Stinson moves to third as Jones comes home, and it's now 11-2. And what could be a potential winning run now just 60 feet away? So going to be up to Nieto now to keep the line moving if she can. And the pitch, Nieto swung on and missed. That'll be strike three. Nieto goes down swinging, but the runs will come across for the Lady Cardinals. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. It's Eunice 11, Dora 2. More Lady Card softball in a moment from New Walmart Digital, One Radio Square Sports. LP Gas Company and his employees are proud of their Eunice Cardinals. BART, class of 1971, state champions of both basketball and baseball, support the kids with their academics and athletics. They realize that balancing both is challenging and appreciate their determination. Redbird knows the Eunice Cardinals have worked really hard to get where they're at, and they are cheering them on all the way. BART and his crew say, Go Eunice Cardinals! Parker Energy, family owned and operated since 2006. Their team is known for their hard work and dedication, big enough to meet your needs for transport, pump trucks, vacuum trucks, and disposal services. Parker Energy and their staff are huge supporters of all Lee County sports and academics. They encourage their young adults to go the extra mile, whether it's sports, grades, or just being a better you. Parker Energy Support Services, 2350 Avenue O, a proud Welcome back to Lady Cardinal Softball. In the top of the fifth, the Lady Cards get seven runs on four hits. Door commits three errors and one runner left on. 11 to our score. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It is three, four, and five. Heart of the Dora order due up as Jasso will lead off. She is one for one. And the first pitch from Stinson going to roll into Jasso. Ball number one. A little one ball, no strike count. So Eunice going to try and keep this one right here. Jasso's last time up, she walked and was left stranded. So Stinson looks into Nieto, and she'll fire it, and it'll fire high for ball two. Stinson, Nieto, your battery, Rodriguez, Jones, Zamora, Gaetan, first to third. Garcia, Pierce, Ornelas, outfield left to right. Everybody pretty much their normal positions. 2-0 pitch on the way to Jasso. That riser is going to rise out of the zone for ball three. Still a three ball, no strike count. And I think that probably the take sign is not going to be on here. And the 3-0 pitch, and that one's going to rise up and away, ball four. So Jasso reaches via a walk, her second walk of the ball game, and just the second walk issued by Stinson. So one on now. Third walk, pardon me, is Justin Deason, Justice Deason. Steps in, she's 0 for 1. And now Dora going to try and get the line moving with a big deficit. Is that one going to sail? Ball number one is Stinson all of a sudden having all kinds of trouble finding, finding the zone and a throw down and goes into the outfield. Ornelas gets it and gets it back in, but Jasso with the stolen base and dives back into the bag. It's second. Jasso up, going to have to dust herself off a little bit. Now the umpire is going to come, and they're going to talk about some stuff. They're going to say maybe Stinson, or rather, Jasso left early. They talk about it, and they are going to point, and, yep, they are, they are sending her out. So they're going to say that Jasso left early. So that'll wipe out the walk, and there is one down now. So a leaving the bag early. We've seen that a couple of times here. As Jasso will head down, and now there is one out. Kemple going to come over. He wants a, a quick explanation. Or did they call interference? Was it leaving early or was it interference? So no matter how you look at it, though, Jasso's hidden is in the dugout. And Stinson tries to keep herself limber by popping the ball around out in the ring. 
course, coming up at 1 o'clock this afternoon, we will have the Eunice Lady Cardinals, if they hold on to win, against the Estancia Lady Bears. So now they're going to come over at... And they're going to talk and see what's going on. Oh, no, they didn't. They moved Jasso over to third, so they're going to say interference on Eunice. And so no wonder Coach Kimple is so upset. I thought the umpire had rung him out. So we had actually obstruction of the runner at second, and they awarded third base. So obstruction of the runner, and Jasso moves to third. Well, now there is nobody out, and it's a 1-0 count at the plate. And the pitch is going to be high for ball number two to Deason. A two-ball, no-strike count. Yeah, and if you're Stinson, now's the time you need to bear down. He's having trouble finding the zone. Six consecutive balls. And the 2-1 pitch swung on, and that'll be a slow roller. Give up the run as Zamora gets to it at short, and then he's going to bank a bad throw, and it gets away from Rodriguez. Deason adds to second, and she'll pull up. So Deason had the RBI sacrifice, and instead is going to reach on an E6. And now it is an 11-3 ball game, and Dora in business here in this bottom of the fifth. Breanne Rodriguez to the plate now. Rodriguez 0 for 2. Grounded out in the first, hit into a fielder's choice in the third. The runner in scoring position, nobody out. As Stinson will deal and swung on, and that'll be a little bloop shot right over to the second baseman, Jones, and she just has to put the glove up and get the little pop out. And there is one down for Dora as Kinsley Inge now to the plate. Inge the lefty, 0 for 2. Flew out in the second, struck out in the fourth. And Stinson will deal, and that one will be at the top of the zone. Ball number one to Inge. So one ball, no strike count, one down. Door with a run across here in the fifth. As Kelly Stinson still in the ring, looks in, and the pitch, and that one is going to be away. Ball two. So the two ball, no strike count. As Stinson takes the look in. And that pitch is going to be up and away. Ball number three. So the three ball, no strike count. So on a 3-0 count, Inge back in. And Stinson looks in. In the 3-0 pitch, and that one is going to be on the inside corner. Take sign was on. And it's a three-ball, one-strike count. So three and one, runner at second. Is decent, nobody out, rather just one out. And that one going to be swung on, and a hard shot finds its way through between Gaetana and Zamora. And it'll be a single that's going to bounce around. Deason will only manage to be over at third, so Inge with the single to left will move to second on the throw in. And now Dora trying to get the line moving, and Miranda Gomez to the plate. So Gomez 0 for 2. As Stinson waits. And now she'll deal to Gomez, fastball inside. And that'll be ball number one. So a one ball, no strike count. As the wind continues to kick up here in Rio Rancho. And the 1-0 pitch swung on, and that's a line shot. Going to find its way through into shallow center field. Pierce will come up with it. It will get a run across, though. Snapped over to third, and that one is going to bounce and get away, but right off the chain link and back into the hands of Gaetan. A strong throw from Pierce as Deason will get cashed in. And so Gomez with the RBI single to right and then moves to second on the throw in. Dora trying to claw back into this one. Now 11-4 to four the score. Eunice in the lead. Riley Croft to the plate. So Stinson with the runners at second and third. One out. That one's going to come up and in to Croft. Ball number one. 
Boy, one ball, no strike count. Dora trying to come from behind. Eunice trying to shut him down. And the pitch swung on and missed. Good pitch there from Stinson on the bottom part of the zone and outside corner. Evens things up at one ball, one strike. Gomez at second, Inge at third. And the 1-1 one -one pitch from Stinson and check swing to Chigo. And they're going to say, nope, she checked it up, so it'll be ball two. So a two ball, one strike count as Troff successfully checks the swing. And a 2-1 count at the plate. Stinson taking the long look in. And the riser rises out of the zone, ball three. So now Eunice struggling just a little bit. Dora took some lumps in the top of the fifth, now trying to get him right back in the bottom of the fifth. With a three ball, one strike count, two on, one out. A couple of runs home for the Lady Coyotes, and the pitches up, up and away, ball four. And that'll load them full of Lady Coyotes for the number nine hitter, now Morgan coming to the plate. She was a defensive replacement in the top of the last inning, so her first at bat. And now the base is loaded for the number nine hitter and the fastball inside knee high, good pitch, strike one. So the no ball, one strike count. Coach Jasso hollers, you gotta swing at those, so a no ball, one strike count. On the way to Morgan, swung on, and that one will be missed. Got her to chase a low fastball, and now a no ball, two strike count. So Morgan out, now back in. And Denson ready, swung on, and that'll be a jam shot as Zamora gets to it and will take the force at home. And Zamora will force out Kinsley Inge, so she'll be out six to two. Four out number two, and Morgan will reach on the fielder's choice. Croft moves to second, Gomez to third, but more importantly for Eunice, there is two down now as it turns back over to Kaysen Inge. Inge and RBI double her last time up. Two runs across for Dora. They're trying to add to it. Eunice trying to shut them down right here, right now, leading 11 to four. Stinson looks, fires, and that'll be a shot. Zamora gets to it. She'll come home again, but that one is going to be misplayed as Nieto, not able to hold on to it, and was playing in front of the plate anyway. So Gomez will cash in as Croft moves to third, Morgan to second, and Inge will reach on a fielder's choice E6. So the second error of the inning for the Lady Cardinals. And now Dora has batted around. And it'll be Jenna Ramirez to the plate. Ramirez two for three. And the base is loaded full of her teammates. Some big here and she can make this a ball game again. Pitch from Stinson and that one's up and away. Ball number one. So Eunice struggling a little bit. Dora trying to come back from as much as nine runs down at one point. Now got it back to a six run ball game. And the pitch swung on, and that one is going to be popped up over on the left side. Zamora goes over, and she's called off by Gaetan, and she's going to miss it. And that is going to cash in another run as Croft will score. Morgan to third, Inge to second, Ramirez to first. On the E6. And so another run is home on another Eunice error. And now the umpire is going to talk about some things. I think they're going to ask for interference on the runner coming from second to third. But we'll see while we've got a moment. Say a big thank you to our friends at Redbird Gas Company, Parker Energy, Eunice Pump and Supply, the Eunice Schools, City of Eunice, Eunice Clinic, Lasco Construction, IPS Incorporated, XL Energy, NMR Pipeline, and the Outlaw Grills, the head umpire going to Talk to Coach Kimple and explain what he saw there. What they saw, he wanted interference. He's not going to get it. So they're going to not get the interference call, and it is now 11-6. to 6. 
And you're back to the heart of the order with Faith Jasso, who walked to lead the inning off. She's one for one at an RBI double in the first and has walked a couple of times since then. So the umpire is giving a bench warning to the Eunice, Eunice bench. So now Jasso will step in, scored earlier this inning after she walked. Bases are loaded. Stinson still in the ring and having a bit of a struggle, and she'll deal that one in the dirt for ball number one. So the one ball, no strike count. As Dora trying to climb back into this one as it looked like Eunice was going into cruise control. But now they got to come back on it. And the 1-0 pitch, and that one will float inside for ball number two. Jasso can find a way on. Deason waits on deck. So a two-ball, no-strike count. Bases are full of Lady Coyotes. The lay card's in a jam. Sensen will deal the 2-0, and that one is going to be on the inside corner. Nice pitch, strike one. So the two-ball, one-strike count. Morgan at third, Inge at second, Ramirez at first. And now that one, it's a riser and rises right out of the zone for ball three. <laughs> so now a three ball, one strike count. To Faith Jasso, the pitcher, trying to help her own cause here. See if she can keep the line moving, get this one a little bit closer. Yeah, Stinson will deal, and the 3-1 swung on, and that one is with authority over to the fields behind us, and it'll run the count full to Jasso. So the three-ball, two-strike count. Faith Jasso at the plate. Kelly Stinson on the hill, pitcher on pitcher battle. Dora trying to cut back into this one. Eunice trying to get out of this one with no more damage done. And the payoff pitch swung on and missed. Ring her up and sent her down. Jasso is the fourth K of the ball game for Stinson. And the cards escape a bit of a jam, but Dora crawls closer as they put four more on the board. We head to the sixth. It is Eunice 11, Dora 6. More Cardinal softball in a moment from the Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Order of Lee County Athletics. Eunice Public Schools is proud of their Eunice Cardinals, the Eunice community, and the staff of Eunice Schools. Eunice Public Schools has anchored itself as an integral part of the Eunice community and takes school safety very seriously. Eunice Schools have continually provided a quality education for the students of Eunice through good times and bad. The Eunice School District appreciates the Eunice community, and they're proud of their Eunice Cardinals. Eunice is on the move. Are you ready? Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. Eunice has a friend. For Dora in the bottom of the fifth inning, they get four runs on two hits. Eunice commits three errors and three runners left on. We head to the sixth. Eunice still in the lead of this one, but Dora trying to make it a ball game. 11 to 6 is the score. I'm TJ Miracle. Thanks for being with us. As it'll be Rodriguez Garcia Gaetan, 5, 6, and 7 due up. For your Lady Cardinals, it looks like Jal has blown the game behind us open. And the first pitch, and that one will be low to Siandra, ball number one. Looks like a 17 to six ball game. Jal up in that one. That game will be over if that is the case. And the 1-0 pitch swung on, and that's a hard shot as Rodriguez chases one high and fouls it over to the Eunice dugout. And the count evens up at one and one as the wind starts really picking up. Then one ball, one strike count. Rodriguez Garcia Gaetan. As Jasso kicks and fires, as Rodriguez will show bunt and lays one down, but it'll twist foul down the third baseline, strike two. No oh, way, one ball, two strike count. Not a bad thing to try there. 
And Rodriguez. One for two. Reached when she walked last inning, and she'll take the next pitch inside. As the count evens up at two balls and two strikes. So the two ball, two strike count. As now Jasso will deal, and that one is going to be away for ball number three. Jasso one and called strike three. So it'll run the count full now to Rodriguez leading it off. Here in the sixth, and the pitch swung on, and that'll be a line shot going to find its way through into right field. As Rodriguez is on, as Morgan will get to it and fire it in. But Rodriguez with the leadoff single to right, and now Eunice going to try and get the line moving again and get those runs back. Now Leah Garcia to the plate. She gets a quick word from Coach Kemple. And now Garcia steps in. She is 0 for 3. She'd like to get some things moving. She's going to show bunt, pull it back as the ball going to bounce in as Rodriguez heads over to second. And it is ball one at the plate to Garcia. So a one ball, no strike count to Garcia. She'll show bunt again and pop it up and goes foul. Nobody can get to it. Count evens up at a ball and a strike, so the one ball, one strike count. Eunice up by five, 11 to six the score. And now Garcia at the plate, hitting in the sixth slot. She'll bun again, and she'll lay that one down. It is a beaut. First baseman Deason gets to it and will fire over to Report, covering it first. Not going to happen, and so Eunice will get one of them back. As running is Garcia. She's heading to third as the ball continues to kind of get moved around. So it would have been a sack RBI. Instead, it'll wind up as an RBI error on the E4. So that'll cash in Rodriguez, and Garcia now stands at third, and Yunus up 12 to six. And now Gaetan will step in, and she'll take a big hack at strike number one. So a no ball, one strike count. Garcia stands at third. Next pitch swung on, and Gaetan gets a piece of it and fouls it off over by the door of dugout for strike two, so a no ball, two strike count. Nobody out. Fifth error of the ball game committed by Dora. And Eunice has got one of those runs back and the pitch, and Gaetan will go down on three straight pitches as she chases a riser. 6K of the ball game for Jasso, and there's one down for Eunice here in this sixth inning. So that'll be Carlo Ornelas to the plate. Ornelas 0 for 2, hit by a pitch in the first. A ground out and a line out. Her line out, she hit it just about as hard as you could, but right at decent at first. Her last time up, and she'll show bunt and a little pop-up, and on the charge as Jasso gets to it, Garcia has to retreat to the bag at third. So the pop-up to the pitcher, and there is two down just like that as Leilene Zamora to the plate. Zamora to the plate, one for three. RBI single and scored her last time up. And she'll take the first pitch and pop it up over on the right side of things. And it gets Croft turned around, and that will cash in another run. And it's coming in is Garcia. So another error on Dora costs him another run, and Eunice now up 13 to 6. So turn it over to the top of the Eunice lineup with Michaela Pierce. Pierce is two for four, a couple of singles, a couple of runs scored for the Lady Cardinal leadoff hitter. And Jasso will fire, and that one is heading out of play. Foul over the heads of everyone, strike one. So a no ball, one strike count. Lady Cardinals back in control. Two outs, runner at first, Zamora. And the pitcher is Pierce. Is that one going to bounce off the plate and get away from Ramirez? And on the wild pitch, Zamora will move down to second. 13 to 6 the score. Eunice in the lead. We're in the top of the sixth inning. Kayla Pierce at the plate. Now runner at second, Zamora. 
Just trying to close out Dora. And the pitch swung on, and that one is going to be popped up over on the left side as Rodriguez comes over from short, almost overruns it, and will make the grab for out number three. So Pierce will pop out to the shortstop to end the inning, but Eunice gets two of their runs back. We head to the bottom of the six. That is Eunice 13, Dora 6. More Lady Cardinal softball in a moment from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Small town atmosphere, great schools and churches, and a low cost of living. The entire community is very involved with all levels of sports and academics. The Eunice Department of Motor Vehicles' new office hours are Monday through Thursday, 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. No testing on Friday. Eunice, a friendly small town with a wonderful community and amenities. The Eunice Clinic is proud to support the Eunice Cardinals. Go Cardinals! You're the pride of Eunice. The Eunice Health Clinic offers many of the same basic services that many local physicians provide. They specialize in well sick care for all ages, well women's exams, physicals, health education, lab tests, and diagnostic studies. They're proud supporters of athletic and academic events. The Eunice Health Clinic is proud to back the Cardinals. Go Cards! For Eunice in their half of the sixth inning, they get two runs on one hit. Dora commits two errors and one runner left on. So it'll be Justin Deason, Justice Deason to lead things off for the Lady Coyotes as we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. In the first pitch to Deason, it'll be a line shot out into center field. Going to drop in front of Pierce. Kaylee gets to it quickly and will get it back in, though. But Deason takes the first pitch she sees and shoots it right back up the middle. 13-6 to six the score. Eunice in the lead. So the leadoff single now, Brianne Rodriguez to the plate. Rodriguez 0 for 3, popped out her last time up. Stinson still in the ring. Eunice trying to close out Dora to move on to the double elimination portion of the tournament. Throw down to second, and that one is going to get away from Jones, but sliding in decent, slid in hard and couldn't take advantage of it. Get up in time, so the stolen base. And it's a no ball, one strike count at the plate on the swing by Rodriguez. So Deason, Rodriguez, Inge, that was the order due up. Now Deason stands at second. Stinson deals, and that one is going to come inside, and that one is going to get away from Nieto. So the inside pitch, and that'll let Deason go over to third as the count evens up at a ball and a strike. Stinson pretty much sailed through the first four plus, but has struggled a little bit in the fifth and the sixth. So a one ball, one strike count. And dealing to Rodriguez, and that just a little excuse me swing goes right back to Stinson, and she'll fire it over to Rodriguez at first in time. One to three for out number one, but it will go as a sacrifice RBI because it will cash in decent from third. Smart play, trading the out for the run. So one down now, nobody on, and Kinsley Inge to the plate. Inge singled her last time up. She is one for three. So Stinson will deal to the lefty, and it's a riser out of the zone. Ball number one. So the one ball, no strike count. Of course, there's teams ready to come out and play in this one. This game got underway a little bit late. the 1-0 pitch and that one just going to miss outside and it'll be ball two so a two ball no strike count one down one across for Dora Eunice trying to get away with no more damage done and get back to the dugout and get this to the seventh see if they can close it down and the 2-0 and that one is right down the pipe strike one oh, a two ball one strike count I believe the Jow Lady Panthers were victorious in their game earlier here I'll see Don Morgan at some point here in a little while. And the 2-1 pitch on the way, swung on, and that'll be a line shot. Going to find its way through into shallow left field as Garcia comes up on it, gets it back in to Jones quickly at second. But it'll be a one-out single to left for Kinsley Inge, which will bring up Miranda Gomez. Gomez had a single to right and an RBI her last time up. Also scored in that Dora fifth, where they got four runs. Trying to get a few more back. They've put one across this inning. 
A one down, one on. And Stinson will deal, and that one will be a ground shot. Finds its way through past a diving Rodriguez at first. And out into right, Ornelas bobbles it momentarily. Gets it back in, and a strong throw over to third, but not going to be in time to get the speedy inge. So Gomez with the one-out single, and now there are Coyotes at the corners. As Rodriguez is going to come over and toss her face mask over to the coaching staff. As now it'll be Riley Croft to the plate. Croft walked and scored her last time up, was hit by a pitch and scored back in the fourth. And now Lady Coyotes at the corners, one out in the pitch inside corner. And Gomez will move down to second as Nieto fires it back over to Stinson, maybe trying to get Inge to sleep a little bit off of first. She does not. And it's a 1-0 count at the plate and inside ball number two. Now a two-ball, no strike count. Facing eight and nine, you don't want to lose these hitters. you got to attack them if you're Stinson. Stinson will look, and she'll deal, and that one is going to be at the top of the zone, outside corner. Nice pitch from Kelly. And it is now a two-ball, one-strike count. So the two-ball, one-strike count. One down, but two on for Dora. As the line in the pitch, that one going to roll in. Ball three, nice job by Nieto to block that one. Keep it in front of her to keep Inge standing over at third. Inge at third, Gomez at second. Decent leadoff single scored. On a sacrifice RBI by Rodriguez is the 3-1 on the way from Stinson. And that one just kind of a half-hearted little excuse me, please swing. Doesn't come up with anything and... Croft runs the count, or rather Stinson will run the count full to Croft. So now it's a full count situation. And the payoff pitch, and that one is going to come inside. Ball four. And Croft will move to first. So that will load them back up as more pressure pitching. Time for Kelly Stinson. And now it will be Morgan to the plate. Morgan, a defensive replacement, reached on a fielder's choice. <clears throat> and was left stranded an inning ago, but now bases are loaded. Just one out, and she'll take the first pitch, pop it up over on the left side, coming out of her crouch, and Nieto takes two steps into the right side box and will make the grab for out number two. Well, that is a big break for the Lady Cards, as now it'll turn over to Kaysen Inge. Inge reached on an error in the fifth. Had an RBI double in the fourth. Well, she is one for four. Nowhere to put her, two outs. In the first pitch, she'll take that one, pop it up over on the right side, and that one is going to tail out and into foul ground for strike number one. Well, she was ready for that one. Kinsley Inge stands at third. Miranda Gomez at second. Bradley Croft at first, and it's an 0-1 count to Kaysen Inge at the plate. Outfield deep, infield pretty well in normal positions. And the pitch fastball swung on and missed as Stinson just rears back and says, if you can hit it, here you go. So now it's a no ball, two strike count. So Stinson trying to work out of a jam, one run across and bases loaded. For Dora in the pitch, swung on and missed, got her with the riser, ring her up and sit her down. Fifth K of the ball game for Stinson. And that will end the threat for Dora here in this sixth. We go to the seventh. It is Eunice 13, Dora 7. More Lady Cardinal softball in a moment from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. IPS Incorporated is a proud member of this community. IPS is the turnkey solution in the oil patch. One call to IPS for your upstream and midstream solutions. 
comprising of dirt work, electrical, pumping, and crane service, plus your automation and control, is all handled with one call. One call for every aspect of your oil and gas project. Google IPS Hobbs or simply call 393-1417. IPS, the turnkey one call oil and gas company. And welcome back to uh, Eunice Lady Cardinal Softball from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. For Dora in their half of the six, they get one run on three. It's no errors committed, and they leave the bases loaded. So we head to the top of the seventh, and it'll be two, three, and four. Jones, Stinson, and Nieto do up for Eunice in the first pitch, and Jones going to take a big hack at one. I think Haley wanted to get that run back with one swing. Comes up empty. It'll be strike one. I understand the score is 24 to 7. Jow trailing in the Mesilla Valley game as the 0 1 pitch is showing Bunt laying down a beauty as Jones right down the line at first, and she'll head over and she will beat out the throw as Deason gets it over to Croft, but not nearly in time. And so it'll be a leadoff Bunt single for Haley Jones. So that'll bring Kelly Stinson now to the plate. Stinson a triple in the first. Sacrifice RBI in the second. Reached on an air, scored in the fifth. And then had a double also in the fifth. So Stinson helping her own cause, and she'll pop that one up into shallow center field as charging in is Inge, but it'll drop in front of her, having to tag up and wait just a second was Jones, but she'll tag up and use good speed to get there. And so a punt single and a bloop single, and now the Lady Carnes are in business here in the seventh. As now it'll bring Melanie Nieto, the cleanup hitter, to the plate. Nieto, a strikeout victim her last time up, but a definite chance to help herself out right here. And, whoa, that one going to sail and get back to the screening. And that'll move Jones to third, Stinson to second. And it'll be ball one at the plate to Nieto. <laughs> so now it's a one ball, no strike count to the Lady Cards cleanup hitter. And the pitch swung on as Nieto gets a piece of pretty good pitch there and evens things up at one ball and one strike. So Eunice trying to put a few more insurance runs on the board up in this one, 13 to seven, top of the seventh inning. 1-1 one, one pitch as Nieto swings at a high fastball. Comes up empty on strike two, so it'll be a one ball, two strike count. Jones at third, Stinson at second, and the pitch swung on, and Nieto gets a piece of it and will stay alive. Ticks it off, so it's a one ball, two strike count. So the one ball, two strike count to Nieto at the plate. Eunice in control of this one, but nothing wrong with a few insurance runs as that'll be a shot back up the middle off the run. Rodriguez gets it at short and will fire it to first in time. So Nieto out six to three, but will be a sacrifice RBI for out number one as it'll turn Jones in at the plate. So Eunice net doubling up Dora 14 to seven. One down, Stinson at third. And now Sandra Rodriguez to the plate and Rodriguez will take the first pitch inside, ball one. So a one ball, no strike count. Jasso ready. She fires the fastball inside. That'll be ball two. So the two ball, no strike count. To Rodriguez at the plate. And she'll twist out and fire that one out of play foul. And now a two ball, one strike count. Stinson at first, one, at third, one down. And a two ball, one strike count to Rodriguez at the plate. And the pitch, Rodriguez right back to Jasso. She leaps up and grabs it, gets it to Deason at first, and she'll fire at home, but not in time to get Stinson. So it'll be a sack RBI for Sandra Rodriguez. We'll call that one one to three for out number two, but it'll make this a 15 to seven. Eunice ball game is now Alea Garcia to the plate. Garcia shows bunt and ticks it off, and that'll be strike number one. So a no ball, one strike count. Garcia reached on an error and scored back in the sixth inning. So 15 to seven. Eunice trying to end the Dora season as she'll show bunt again and foul that one off. 
and shows frustration with herself. Now the big smile. And she'll head back into the booth or into the box, and she'll have to swing away now at 0-2. So two down. As Garcia back in, going to have to swing away in the 0-2 pitch, swung on. That one is going to be popped up into shallow right field, and it's going to find its way down in front of a charging Morgan out there. So Garcia with a two-out single to right. And that'll keep the line moving for Liz Gaetan. Gaetan singled in the first, struck out in the third, reached via an error in the fifth, and then struck out in the sixth. Gaetan has seen a lot of action today, and actually we're going to have Emma Garrett come in to hit for Gaetan. So Garrett will pinch hit for Gaetan. And now Emma Garrett. So Emma Garrett will come in to pinch hit for Elizabeth Gaetan with two out, one on here in the top of the seventh. A 15-7 lead for the Lady Cardinals. Of course, it ain't over till it's over, as Yogi Berra would say. And the first pitch to Garrett inside. Ball one, throw down, and that one is off of the mark. And so the steal going to go to Garcia. And she rounds third, and she is heading home as the ball gets kicked around in the outfield. And so Garcia going to put another one on the board. She gets the stolen base, then moves around on an E8. So the... That is the seventh error of the ball game on Dora. Now it is 16 to 7 for Eunice, and it's a one ball, no strike count to Garrett at the plate. She'll shoot that one into the fencing right in front of me, and the count evens up at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count. Garrett at the plate. Waits on the pitch from Jasso. He'll deal, and it'll be high. Ball number two. Though a two ball, one strike count. As we click past the two hour mark of this one. And the two one pitch and that one is gonna be inside ball number three. So a three ball, one strike count. Two down for Eunice, but three runs across. You've made this a 16 to seven ball game. And that one's gonna be high and away ball four as Garrett will work the walk. So the two-out walk keeps the line moving for the Lady Cards, and now Carla Ornelas to the plate. So Ornelas will step in. She popped out to the pitcher her last time up. She's 0 for, 0 for due. And the first pitch inside to Ornelas is going to be ball number one. Garrett still stands over at first. There's Kimple keeping her over there. And kick in, the pitch swung on, and that one is right back to the pitcher. Jasso up and over to first, and Deason for out number three. But Eunice gets three more runs across. We head to the bottom of the seventh. It's do or die time for Dora. Lady Cardinal softball continues from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Energy Star Energy Efficient LED Bulb, one that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. NMR Pipeline is a highly qualified, dedicated company. Leading in performance with management and employees who've provided over 45 years of service in pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline is proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. For the Lady Cards in the top of the seventh, they put on three runs on three hits, one error committed by Dora, and one runner left on base. And so to close this one out and move into the double elimination portion, Dora going to need nine runs this inning. And Eunice would like for that not to happen. They've got to go through two, three, and four to start out. Ramirez, Jasso, and Deason. So Ramirez will step in. Ramirez is two for three. Two for four, couple of singles, run scored. Reached on an error her last time up. 
Enzo Stinson going for the complete game. Will fire the first one and gets Ramirez to chase a riser. Strike one. So a no ball, one strike count. It's Coach Jasso. Turn down to Ramirez, telling her, come on, let's go. 7 16 to 7 the score as the pitch swung on, and that'll be a chop shot. Zamora at short fires it over to Rodriguez at first. Plenty of time as Ramirez chopped at one and chopped it right to Zamora. 6 to 3, and there is one down now for the Lady Coyotes as Faith Jasso to the plate. So Jasso to the plate, a strikeout victim her last time up. She's one for two officially, doubled. Had an RBI in the first, walked in the third, walked in the fifth, struck out in the fifth. And the pitch, and Jasso will take that one low for ball number one. So one ball, no strike count. Bottom of the seventh inning, Eunice up 16 to seven. As holding off is now Stinson deal in the riser, and that one is heading to the field next door on the left side. The count evens up at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count. Eunice in control of this one, trying to shut down Dora and punch their ticket into the double elimination game this afternoon. 1-1 one, one pitch and fastball inside and ouch. That one's going to get Jasso in the leg. And she's kind of got a, I'm not sure if it's a smile or a grimace or a little bit of both, but she heads down to first. And that'll bring Justice Deason to the plate. That'll be the third hit batter for Stinson in the ball game. And now it'll bring the cleanup hitter Deason to the plate. So Jasso at first as Deason steps in, one down. And the pitch swung on, and that'll be a slow roller, and that one is going to get it between and amongst and around everybody before Jones finally corrals it. And I'm going to signal that as that was just kind of in no woman's land there. So I'm going to call that an infield single, and that'll put Jasso now at third and Deason at first. Of course, you take one of the biggest sticks out of their hand with a little soft one like that. Now it'll be Breanne Rodriguez to the plate. Rodriguez is 0 for 3, grounded out in the first, hit into a fielder's choice in the third, popped out in the fifth, and a sack RBI in the sixth. In the first pitch, and she'll swing and foul that one over into the door dugout for strike one, so a no ball, one strike count. Lady Cards just need to find two more outs in this one to take on the Estancia Lady Bears this afternoon. Oh, no, one, one count, Rodriguez at the plate. Stinson will deal, and that one is swung on and popped into shallow right field, and that one is going to drop in front of a charging Ornelas, and that will cash Jasso in. So it'll be an RBI single to right for Rodriguez. Deason moves to second. And so hit by pitch, and then back-to-back -back singles, and that'll put Dora back to within eight. So now the lefty inch to the plate. She singled to left her last time up. Single to the left her last two times up, as a matter of fact, and she'll take the first pitch outside, ball one. Oh, one ball, no strike count. Two on, one down. And the pitch from Stinson. That one going to roll in, gets away from Nieto. That'll let Deason move to third, Rodriguez to second. Nieto has really pitched an extremely, or rather caught an extremely good game today. Hadn't let many get by her. Ball two at the plate to Inge. Oh, a two ball, no strike count. Yeah, Stinson will deal, and that one just misses away. And that'll be ball number three. So a 3-0 count. Coach Jasso hollering at Inge and telling her, be selective, which means she's got the green light. You've got to think. And the pitch, and that one is going to be right down the pipe. You're not going to be selective about that one. I don't know what you would be, but it'll be a three-ball, one-strike count. So the three-one count is Inge with the big deep breath. Now back in. Stinson deals, and that one is going to be on the outside corner. Good fastball, and it will run the count full to Kinsley Inge. And a three-ball, two-strike count. 
Runners at second and third. Stinson has the sign and the payoff pitch swung on, and that one will be a slow roller foul down the third baseline. So waiting on that one just a half second to see if it would go foul. Almost cost him, but it does go foul. So we'll reset now at three balls and two strikes. So the 3-2 count. As Stinson trying to battle through, and the payoff pitch in there, ringer up and center down. Inge is down on strikes, sixth K of the ball game. And that'll bring Miranda Gomez to the plate. Gomez two for four. So she'll step in with two on, two out. Dora down to their final out of the ball game in the season. Gomez settles in, and the first pitch swung on, and that'll be a slow roller. Getting to it is Stinson. She'll take it over to first, and she pulls off Rodriguez, who stretches out, somehow maintains contact with the bag. Out number three, one to three, will end the ball game, and Eunice is victorious. Our final, Eunice 16, Dora 8. We'll come back and wrap this one up momentarily. Lady Cardinals softball continues in a moment. Mix. Outlaw Grill thanks you for supporting Outlaw Grill throughout the years. Outlaw Grill has all your favorites, from savory soups to burgers, porterhouse steaks, fettuccine alfredo, crispy chicken scallopini are just some of the all-time favorites. Outlaw Grill invites you to come in or call your order in 575-392-2012. That's 575-392-2012. It's a fast turnaround time for a delicious gourmet meal from the crew at Outlaw Grill. Bart Parker, owner of Red... Welcome back to Una's Lady Cardinal Softball. The Lady Cards victorious here in the play-in game. 16-8 to eight the final. Final line score... For your Lady Cardinals, they get 16 runs on 14 hits. They commit three errors, and they leave seven runners stranded out on the base pass for Dora. Eight runs on 11 hits. They commit seven errors, and they leave 13 runners out on the base pass. So that will end the season for the Dora Lady Coyotes. Eunice will move on into the double elimination portion of this tournament as their next game will be at 1 o'clock this afternoon as they will take on the number three Estancia Lady Bears. So congratulations to Coach Kemple and his Eunice Lady Cardinals. They are victorious in the play-in game and will play again at a little bit after 1 o'clock this afternoon right back here on the Eunice Sports YouTube channel and HobbsAmerica.com. So we'll sign off for now and see you in just a little while as more Lady Cardinal softball from the state tournament Coming up in a couple hours here on the Unisports YouTube channel and HobbsAmerica.com. See you in a while, everybody.